you guys. So I got my results back. Um, and I'm recording on my phone. I brought my camera, but I forgot to put the memory card in it. So you can't record if you don't have a memory card. Anyways, let's see. What will we do first? TSH with reflex to FT4, which is the thyroid panel. Um, my result was 0.76 and 20 years old and above the, that normal range is 0.40 to 4.5, so that is in the normal range. Um, and it also has pregnancy ranges down below that, so if I were pregnant, it would still be within the normal range because pregnancy ranges from 0.26 to 2.66 for first trimester. So there's that. Second one is prolactin. The results of your recent lab tests are within normal limits. My result was 9.4. The non-pregnant um, non-pregnant reference range is 3 to 30. So that's in the non-pregnant range, and then the pregnant range is from 10 to 209. So it's almost out of 10, if I'm pregnant. So, and I read those two first, because they came, it was three different tests, so they, the results came in three different emails. And I read those two first, and you know, everything said within normal limits, within normal limits. And then I got to my CDC, and it says, your white blood cell count is high. Many things can cause this, including certain types of infection. Are you having any symptoms besides nipple discharge? I would repeat, we do this again in a week or so. So, um, my white blood cell count was 12.2 and the reference range is 3.8 to 10.8 so that's high and also the absolute lymphocytes it was I sure hope you don't want me to move I'm not moving don't look at me like that he's still looking at me um, Absolute lymphocytes was 3,904, and the reference range is 850 to 3,900. So although it is not very high out of the normal range, it's still, it's still, it's still a high result. Um, so... If you know anything about anything, I don't know where that guy went, but he's creeping me out. Um, then you know that that's not good. I mean, something has to be wrong if it is that. It, if your white blood cells are high. And it can be just an infection, or it could be any type of cancer. So, like, all this morning, I was just sitting at my desk trying not to cry. Because it's not good. I mean, it's not horrible. You know, hopefully everything's fine, but it's not good. I'm sitting at the park right now because I finally took my lunch break and I was tired of, oh my god, these people are making me angry. Like, go that way. Go that way. I'm busy. I'm busy go that way I'm not even in the road like they could go beside me but they want to be asked Ooh, I can't say that they want to be jerks um, I'm really irritated so I've been sitting here at my desk all day trying not to cry and um oh my god he is staring at me I am so distracted right now and like I mean I I cried a lot last night, and I cried this morning, 
and I'm just really emotional because like I want to be pregnant so badly like I want to say everything that's happening is because I'm pregnant but I don't know if I'm pregnant and I'm only 9 DPO so I know some people have gotten a positive test at 9 DPO but I never have and I took a test this morning even though I said I wasn't going to and it was not positive so I don't know and like I mean I, I just don't want to have cancer I do have a cancer insurance policy that I pay for through work so I would be financially okay if I had cancer but selfish me if I have cancer then that's gonna make me have to wait longer to have a baby if I could have a baby because chemo and radi radiation do horrible things to your body so there you have it not exactly pleased but I'm just really praying that hopefully within the next few days I'll get a positive test and then everything will make sense oh I sent all my results over to my friend Katie she's down here and she sent me um, I seriously had to print off like everything that I'm talking about today because it's all on my phone and I couldn't use my camera so I had to print it off so I could you know um, the article is should you worry about high white blood cell count during pregnancy and she highlighted the part of it where it said high white blood cell count in pregnancy is common as the body's immune system adjusts to support the woman and her unborn baby production of white blood cells rises even more as a woman nears time for childbirth however some specific conditions may cause a rise in white blood cells in case you get other symptoms such as fever, pain, bleeding, fainting, weight loss, you need to consult your doctor without delay. I don't have any of those besides pain, but you guys know about the pain. So I just really hope I'm pregnant. Because then everything will be fine. I really hope I'm pregnant. Because I was not expecting this today. And I really just wish I was at home. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.